blinds. You know, you gotta either be blind or stupid or not. With this driver, you cannot fight, you cannot do anything. He's just a, a very stupid driver. And when the opportunity uh, was there, I start immediately. And when I start, I never, I never leave. I was always the best. It's not the first time that they drive like this, and we are risking our lives. This is racing, you know, everything can happen. Maldonado ran wide, damaged his car and had to retire. My gosh. Oh, okay. Back moment, back okay. moment for, for all the team. And what's been your best moment, you think, this year? And what have you done that you've thought afterwards, that was really good? I enjoyed the race in Monaco. Just remaining five laps, something like that. I crashed with Hamilton. For sure, we have a great relationship, especially after the, the, the crash. I've really got to be, actually, I don't really give a uh, what I say, to be honest. They uh, have been absolutely ridiculous today. Maldonado turned in very early, hit me, and, and we touched, and there was nothing I could, I could do. Um, that's normal, of course that's going to happen. But who gets the penalties? I get the penalties. <laughs> I've just been hit. Hello, is there much damage to the car? No, it was done deliberately. Maldonado is so crazy, guys. Unbelievable. Maldonado again. I don't believe why he drives like this.
op de trainingen. Pastor Maldonado, die toch al bekend staat als iemand die veel hoog. Oh, they've crashed! And they've got into each other. Van and Maldonado make the collision down at turn one. For anyone who claims that you arrived in Formula One as a paid driver, do you think what you're doing now is enough to make them have to think again? I don't believe that. Uh... I think the one thing that Martin and I will agree on is that it should have been addressed at the end of the year, but um, unfortunately, here we are. smile in the face of adversity you know no matter how much how painful it will be um, it's do or die and that's why I have everything to gain so I'm just gonna go out there and race my heart out the Spanish fans hope their man could steal Maldonado's glory amazing great moment uh, for me even because we have a lot of Venezuela in the in the stands I'm uh, very happy this is the, the first race in Europe so we become strong uh, for this race, uh, getting better and better, so I'm really happy to be here and for sure to start from the pool. Just keep this cup to Fernando. Crash there of the day, he just crashed into the cameraman. <laughs> but he had his crash helmet on, luckily. 
No, he's made some mistakes, but you know he's lapped. He's lapped a Red Bull there with Mark Webber behind him. Can you both comment on what you feel about that? Oh, I think the team is happy with the result today. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, from the outside it's quite uh, difficult to judge sometimes what's going on, so we know what we're doing, I think. I accept the ice bucket challenge. Ah, you said that. Uh, you said the, the penalty uh, and the seat. Pastor Maldonado, in my opinion, in the future, they will have to get ready to pay him serious money because he is an emerging force as a driver and he will be, the major teams will be monitoring what he's doing because he